Hey guys, Fishy Baker here. In this video, my dad and I are out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, fishing for big salmon. So stay tuned. We get a couple of really big fish. It's an awesome episode. Hope you enjoy. I think so. <laughs> Come at me. Right here. It was you. Four feet away. I don't know where he is. Oh god, he's way back here. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, this is way bigger than what I thought it was. So you're gonna need to get him by you so I can get him back a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh
Yeah! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, it's a tank! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Dude, that was so much bigger than what I thought it was! I had to look to see oh if I gosh. was stuck on something with the net. Is it a female like, or male? Is so heavy? Oh my gosh. Like well, I said, green, that good old green ladder back here. Yeah, that was, what did we say, 50? That, that was, was on 50. the high one. Yeah. That J plug was probably, what, six or seven feet down? Yeah. On this black ladder back, green glow. Look at the size of this cane. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. Eighteen. Yeah. Eighteen four. Eighteen and a half. Eighteen and a half. No, that it was like it's a fishing club. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. You might want to you might want to turn, dude. Oh my god. You might want to you might want to turn. Holy cow, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. 300. Reel that up now. Oh my god. Right. Yeah, I think he might about to be cross the balance. Wow. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Just stay straight. Reel him in. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, tr I'll turn him right. He's running at me. Just keep him there. He feels like he's coming up. Yeah. All right, guys. So what happens when the second fish hits is a little bit confusing. But overall, I think we had to do what we did in order to land this fish. But when he hit, he went directly left. And so he was peeling out a ton of line. I was telling my dad to turn the boat. And so the only reason we didn't end up having trouble with how much line we had is because... You know, the boat was going towards me in this situation, and the fish was going directly left. So when we turned, we actually kind of cut him off to where he was going to go. So instead of him constantly stripping line, then all of a sudden I end up being even with him where we're just at a standstill. He's not getting any line, but I'm not gaining any. Where if we would have just kept in the same direction, he still would have been just stripping a ton of line. So it was good we did that, but unfortunately by doing that, um, we kind of coaxed him into crossing with our outside board. And so now we're forced to have to try and get that untangled as well. So it kind of ends up being a mess, but you'll see how it all plays out. Well, as I bring them in, theoretically, like, you know, you should be able to bring that one in with it, right? That was a mess from the start. He hit it and ran straight left. I don't want to fish with the snake on his foot trying to pull this board. Pull it, trying to pull the board. Huh? Yeah, trying to pull the board. I'll try to pull this. I don't know, though, because then I'm pulling the board underneath the water. If I do have to pull the board in, that would be way tougher. Yeah, 
I'll, I'll just see if I can manage. Yeah. I mean, I'm snake. I, there's something on it. Either it's not a snake. I'll just try to go with you. What? There's a hundred out. That was a nasty you like that. <laughs> well, when he, when I saw him, when I saw him bump up to 300 in a matter of like 15 seconds. I did, did oh, I did too. I didn't want to take a chance. I wasn't sure how much lime we had on here. Just get the board off at least. That's the most challenging part. I don't care if it's crossed. Because now that the board's off, we can do whatever. I wouldn't pull directly on it. I see it. It is in the line. Yeah, it is. No. That's fine. That's fine. Just leave that in the water. Yeah. Because as we got the board off, that was the challenging yeah, thing. Because right. if he would have made a run next to the boat, or like if we would have released that, and it was under the water, then that would have been a million times harder to try and pull off. Big daddy's big. You might have to get this off. Are you able to cut it and just get the hook off? Not even. It's pretty bad. We could hand line them. Because I can't reel up past that hook, obviously. Right. Cutting the line, I think, definitely helps. Let's get him out of your way. All right, GoPro battery just died. I just changed it out. Trying to land number two. Trying to get him out of that crop wash. It just feels like super heavy. Like, it's just impossible to, like, it's not like I wasn't trying to reel. Yeah, he's right behind the motor now. It would be the same thing, right? If he can switch yeah. Back. He's really trying to go the other I way. I know. Well, the hook got caught in the net. Well done. <laughs> well, that was a new, a new one. Wow! Did he just destroy that thing? He destroyed that. Thing. Sorry, your floor is going to get slimy. There it is, big. Cool pink. The bottom. Yeah, keep your hand on it. I'll wait. Just 
bouncing between 19.5 and 20.28. 20. 20. 20. Let's see what the other one says. Oh yeah, this one has 20. 20? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> An 18 and a 20 pounder. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. It was a ton of fun. Both those salmon were just unbelievably fun. I came back from my college dorm here for one day to try and make that happen. And the fact that everything worked out was just perfect. Um, coming up after this episode, we have a couple more bass fishing episodes. Really good day of smallmouth and a really good uh, episode on fishing big largemouth with bluegills. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you all later.